It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with this morning, 9 a.m. Coming up very soon, another major concert announcement for Ooh, the summer. Oh, 9 a.m. today? Yes, 9 a.m. Yeah, today. All right. So that is your uh, country news right there. That's all you need to know. 9 o'clock, another big announcement for the uh, summer and the Catholic Health Amphitheater at Bald Hill. Uh, yesterday, the Oscars, did you watch any, Candy? I watched about 40, 45 minutes of it, yeah. Oh, that's funny because I watched about the same, maybe a little longer, maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Jimmy Kimmel's opening was so boring, I almost had to turn it off. Literally, I had to like say, please let this end. You know what's funny is I was ready to come on this morning and say the exact opposite. I enjoyed his monologue. Oh, it was awful. Re- are you really? Awful. I, awful. I thought he was funny. I thought Not at was- all. What? Uh, all right. We don't have to uh, pick it apart necessarily. No, but, no, no. That's um, my opinion. It no, went I, on far too long. Well, it was long. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, I almost turned it off. I said, if he doesn't end this soon, I'm not even going to see the first award. What, was it the length of it or the, the content? The length, kind of like the snarky jokes. I didn't like any of it. Huh. You must not be a fan. You must not like him, I think. I'm not a big, the biggest fan, but I don't hate him. Uh, I, I enjoy. Okay, hey, we're entitled to our opinion. I, it's we funny. are. I had the opposite reaction. I thought it was cute, you know. No, um, cute, no. <laughs> so everything, everywhere, all at once, which I have not seen yet, won seven of eleven Oscars. Can very big last night. Yes, I have yes. to say the best dressed woman, Angela Bassett. That purple gown was magnificent. Yeah, she looked good. Um, she looked really good. I don't think she was too happy she didn't win, but she looked the best. I didn't see any red carpet, so missed all oh, that. Oh, she was gorgeous. Oh, um, I wish the Oscars would go to more of a Golden Globes food and drink style with cocktail tables and stuff, Candy. You know, yeah. it's a little little, a little stuffy. Stiff. but yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Brendan Fraser won uh, actor for The Whale. Yes, yes. And, you know, it's funny, uh, right before bed, I had the Oscars on and we watched, you know, how they take the five nominated songs and they perform them all. I didn't see any of it, but yes, I do. So the song for Everything Everywhere All at Once, which did not win, uh, but was performed, obviously, because that's what they do, was such a bizarre song with... Uh, David Byrne of Talking Heads and Love him. someone else who, like, their voices were horrible and the song itself is so bizarre. Abigail and Elijah, right before bed, they were watching it and they were laughing hysterically. They're like, what is this? What is going on oh, right no. now? The song, the song is so weird. Yeah. Um, and that was it. Then I shut it and went to bed. Uh, by the way, the Razzie Awards, which is like the anti-Oscars, of course, um, Tom Hanks and Jared Leto led the way with uh, more nominations and victories than really? anybody else. Yes. Uh, Tom Hanks was not uh, really uh, highly thought of in his role in Elvis, and he won. Oh, right. He was in that. Yep. Yeah, that was such a slow moving. Slow. I, do, I wasn't a big fan of the movie. All right. I didn't see it. So I, I have a, a lot of these I need to get to still. Um, and the Razzie Awards Blonde on, uh, you know, the I guess the Marilyn Monroe movie, I'm assuming. Blonde? Uh, I'm not sure. One best picture. Um, as far as the box office this weekend, get this. Scream 6 made $44.5 million. That is the best ever opening weekend for a Scream movie. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Getting better and better, I guess. Uh, or the prices of tickets are going up and up, I guess. One or the other. Um, there will be two Jeff Beck tribute concerts in May in London, Candy. Lovely. Wish I could go see one of them. Panic at the Disco and singer Brendan Urie uh, performed their final show in England the other night. He uh, said months ago that he is taking time and kind of leaving uh, the band to focus on his family. And they just had a new baby and everything. So they perform their final show. Uh, Brendan Urie, obviously a great voice. He'll still be involved in the music business, but his band, Panic at the Disco, is no more. That's it. Done. Got it. Oh, boy. 
And the group Yes just released a new album and single. How about what? that? What? Yeah, wow. after all these years. I know. Uh, tonight, NBC with The Voice, ABC with Bachelor, NCIS and NCIS Hawaii, and Good Doctor as well. And there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. All right, weather-wise, we are going to get a bunch of rain today, and then we have a possibility of it turning to snow on Tuesday. Could be no snow, could be an inch to two to three. Uh, We'll see, but today, a lot of rain headed your way as we hit the mid-40s. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.